This gentleman is called Peter Davis of Green Running, and I think they are really cool too. Thank you. Much appreciated. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks. Welcome to Eco Summit. Thank you. So, yeah, as a, a little heads up, I did have a good six to seven hours to prep for this from last evening, so apologies in advance. Um, but yeah, I'd like to start by introducing myself. Um, my name is Peter Davies. I'm the founder of Green Running. We're experts in the world of energy disaggregation, energy analytics, um, monitoring and management systems. We've sold into substations, commercial properties, and now we're looking very much to focus on the domestic market. So what is the problem we've been solving? Basically, um, especially in the UK, you still get your energy bills come in once a month and they have um, a value on them and that's the value you pay. You have no more detail, you don't know where um, and why it's that particular price and that's a problem for the consumer um, because they'd like to know where and how they can save more money and, and it's a problem for the energy provider in the fact that when the customer rings up to complain, they can't actually tell them exactly why it's this particular cost. So what consumers would actually really like is to kind of understand more granularly about where their bill is and exactly what they can do to sit and solve that. Um, and several years ago, we were asked to come into a high street restaurant chain um, and just happened to bring in our very high speed bit of data, um, data acquisition kit, which was sampling it a million times a second. Um, obviously, the industry at that point was very much playing around with half hourly data. Um, so we were quite uh, lucky to see that when we put on this bit of kit, that actually at those very high speeds, um, you were actually able to see that each individual appliance actually has its own unique power signature due to the electronics in the appliance. And not only that, but we were able to capture these signals and the amount of power that each appliance was consuming and be able to portray this back to the um, consumer. And that meant that we could provide them their bill um, almost on a, a second by second basis for a percentage of the, each appliance, which is actually um, consuming them the cost and break it down for the month um, that they've got. And not only that, uh, the other benefits for the consumer is that they get it all in real time. So you literally turn your kettle on, you instantaneously can see all your appliances which, which, which are on. And that's beneficial in the fact that you will never leave your house again having left it on um, an electric heater or other appliance. Uh, but it also does things like uh, maintenance reporting. So, for example, we can now sit and tell you when your fridge is starting to wear or your other potential products. Um, and that's a benefit also for the energy companies because it means that they can now provide services through the platform to sit and um, encourage the uh, consumers to be aware of what's actually happening and where and how they can save money. So, again, building this kind of rapport between the energy company and the consumer again. Um, in the UK, the market size is obviously... 24 million plus consumers um, with houses and the expected percentage saving from the reports that Department of Energy Change and Climate have done um, is approximately 20% on using real-time um, data. So that makes a market size of almost 3 billion in the UK alone. The other benefit of the UK is that almost 90% of our entire market is um, consumed by the six retail companies. And the brilliant thing for us is that we've sold into Scottish and Southern Energy and Scottish Power Networks through our substation products and we're funded by Scottish Power Networks for the start of our progress into the domestic sector. And we've just picked up funding from um, an investment arm in Percentrica who obviously own British Gas. So we have immediate access to almost half the UK consumer market. Um, the system consists of an app and a little bit of kit which sits on top of your meter. Um, this presentation is a good six months old, so that price we think we're even going to get down to about less than 30 to 50 pounds, basically. Um, what have we been up to in terms of PR? Well, well, last year when we were going for our latest round of um, funding, we were um, picked up um, Energy Award finalists. And we were also finalists for the best smart grid innovation at the Energy Innovation Awards. Um, picked up funding from Scottish Power, as I mentioned, and the Department of Energy, Change and Climate even endorsed our work in the world of refrigeration. So how's our investment been picked up to date? We've had um, private funding up until um, the Centrica round. Um, and so we've managed to maintain um, still over 80% of the company. And not only that, we have a buyback clause in our investment agreements. So we're still very, very um, investable for the next set. We've picked up 750K in our last round, so that's now 1.25 million pound in total. Um, and we're spending this money at the moment on building the rest of the management team and delivering on a sale of 750 units that we picked up. 
we're looking to get our next round of funding in around July um, of next year. So hence, I thought I'd take this opportunity to speak with the potential investors out there and like to get talking to them now. Um, these are the finances which we picked up the last investment on. So in 2016, we've already made half that target in terms of sales um, and are expected to smash these delivery prices. And the numbers themselves are based on an estimate of just Scottish Power and Scottish and Southerns. And actually now we're working with British Gas and have a far bigger market share. Um, and doesn't include any international um, any revenue. And we're talking with the likes of Direct Energy and Energy in France. Um, and also doesn't include any value for data. Imagine we're now building this big database of all consumer data, appliances, which appliances where, et cetera, et cetera, which has a commercial value to retailers as well as to um, the energy companies themselves. So the team, um, I'll speed through this, but yeah, basically myself used to run a company called Austin, um, na ex National Instruments, ex um, Allegiant to B Sky B. So um, very small but elite. Um, there's the competition, so you've probably come across companies that have played around the disaggregation space, um, but they're mainly focused on low speed, smart meter, kind of second by second and slow. We do almost a million times faster than that. And our exit plans, so we're looking to sell out to either one of the industry providers like your Siemens and Honeywells, or one of the energy companies, which we're already teamed up and in bed with the likes of British Gas, etc. Um, but the best thing to consider us is we're basically the electricity equivalent of the Google Nest or the Hive system, but with far more machine learning and AI capability and with a bar far bigger market in electricity. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Peter. Just a quick question. How is it for you to work at Sustainable Bridges and what is so special about the place? Uh, it's an amazing eco ecosystem for itself in uh, encouraging startups through. Mm. Um, there's, I think there's seven or eight of us in and um, the kind of momentum and being surrounded by other people going through the same uh, scenario is you can't really ask for more. It's kind of an intangible value which is it's worth its weight in gold really. Okay. Um, so yeah, privilege and very good night last night. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanks it's good lot. that we are already sober again. Indeed, <laughs> it's good, it's good, yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, this was Peter.